Hi, I'm just going to make this uh, video to help uh, Year 7 with how to um, write your melody. So um, we looked at this a bit last week, uh, but just say for example, we uh, go to uh, one of our templates, whichever template you're using. Okay, so we've got our blank score here. See what I did last week? Okay, great. Um, and I have said already that we um, will start writing our melody. Okay, just forget your words at the moment uh, because with Mr. Harb, you're going to look at putting your um, words with a rhythm. Okay, and then that rhythm will transfer into your um, melody here. Okay. So let's just use crotchets here in our melody and worry about making the rhythm sort of fit the words a bit later, okay? So, um, as I said to you last week, we've got these chords here and we look at these notes. Now, you can work out what these notes are from your lines and spaces. C, E, G. And I suggested last week that we use start with that top note Okay, I'll just turn that off a bit so you can hear it a bit better. And this is just writing a melody, okay? Don't worry about your words for the moment. Let's just work out how we might write a... And I'm going to go down to that note there. Okay. Du, 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 du. Um, and we can actually, you know, change some rhythms. Okay, and we can use some a few other notes other than are in this chord. Okay, so that's an example of uh, starting on one of the notes in the chord. All right, and you can make little variations. I often get asked the question. Um, I'm just going to do that again. I often get asked the question, "How do I join these notes together?" All right. Okay. What we've got there is a crotchet that's worth one beat. If we change that to half a beat, we end up with a quaver, which is worth half a beat. And then that's a half beat or quaver rest. So if we put a note on there, on that rest, it's automatically going to be a quaver. It's going to fill that gap. So we've got a quaver and a quaver. Let's have a listen to that. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice little motif I've composed there, okay? And it fits the chord progression. And I'm going to use the top note of that chord. And I'm using like a little pass note. That's not in that chord, but I'm heading towards this D down here. Right? And that's how I'm writing a good melody. So that's what we're going to do in class today. Um... And here, there's an E there. All right. And so, oh, hang on. No, that's not going to be great because if I stay up on that note, that's in that chord there. Righto. And I'm going to show you a nice little trick. I can go down to the F, okay, or, better still, make that a passing note, down to the F, and, okay, so there I end up with a four bar melody. Okay, and if I just turn that up a little bit. Just turn that up a little bit. A little bit more of the chords, but not too much. I mainly want to hear my beautiful melody. Let's have a listen to that again. One bar before to get a bit of a feel of it. Okay, so now here's a nice little trick. 
I've written four bar, a four bar melody, okay, and you can copy some of my ideas, not all of them. Um, and then if I click on that bar there, the first bar of the melody, hold my shift key and click on that bar, command C, because the chord progression repeats, it's the same. And that's okay in songs to write a nice little short melody that's really catchy. <laughs> Okay, nice little catchy melody, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's um, how we write a basic melody. All right.